Well, I can't stop playing this game. I haven't played it as much as Hades or the XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, but I have played quite a bit of this. So, here's something that happens only rarely, which is getting your own island. So I'm on this island by myself. Um, is there any reason not to put an academy up here? Well... Yeah, National College and whatnot. 50%. 50% of what? Hmm. From Building Specialist City Modifier. I think it's more advantageous to put it here. Anyway, it's where to get an island. So I've actually done a modified policy here. I've done Constantinople, which gives you an extra religion. But I ended up having an odd build. I did uh, two up to National College. Uh, three up to Oxford University, and then four uh, before doing Hermitage. I'm actually, already got the Opera House, and we're waiting for Subtech. Are we? What is really going on here? Oh, I already got it. Well, anyway, that's what I did. So this is extraordinarily rare, but sometimes it does happen. This was an odd situation I had, just the one city-state within vision. Colossus, so I had an extra trade route. Ended up having a land trade route and a sea trade route to Buenos Aires, which is apparently a thing. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of complain about the religion here on this game. So, to get a religion... Yeah, I've got someone else's religion. So. I don't know if I even can build my own religion anymore. So the way that you get a religion is you have... Maybe I can do a shrine and temple here. You need a pantheon to fill up a city. And I don't know if it needs to be your capital city, but it definitely needs to be... For example, I need to get a religion in the next few turns here. Uh, or maybe here. I just got a ton of money for some reason. Taj Mahal is fine. Nothing to give me faith. So, the problem is, my uh, population has been outgrowing my followers, and it might be impossible to get all 22 or 23 people on a uh, pantheon, right? And I shot myself in the foot a little bit by taking camps get extra food, but still, I don't know, the game's just kind of flawed in this way. The game's awesome in a lot of ways, but this is just not, not amazing. Lighthouse is not super useful. Uh, there might be some other things that are later, though. So yeah, I don't know if there's a uh, extremely slim chance of some developers looking at this game, but I would just point that out. And what I think would be really good is if you get piety, maybe you can found a religion or it just automatically gives you a great profit. It wants to give you a great profit if you get all of these, but that's just kind of silly. I, I don't know. Is that really silly? I feel like I have to fill up tradition, but you could fill up... I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I kind of just even just need the culture from tradition to do other things, but I suppose I could have put money there. But getting every culture in a theme just to get a great profit isn't great. Flip side is, it's often just fine to have someone else give you their religion. Um, unless you're in this situation and your whole culture bonus is an extra religion. So that's a thing. Um, again, I don't know why I really feel like uh, plenty of money. Uh, going this greed build over and over it's you would kind of think that filling up all your museum slots with um, oh man that's not good uh, artifacts and getting most of the world wonders over and over would be really boring and it kind of is but I mean I don't know kind of like it for some reason really addictive anyway it's my only kind of flaw with the game I suppose you could go religion first, and I have not explored religion 
victory. But they're not really victories. The best thing you can do is spread your religion all over and get certain bonuses like extra... I mean, you get extra money and faith and stuff when you do that. But it just seems like more work than it's really useful. Yeah. So we'll see. Anyway. Take what it gives you. We'll kill these guys next turn. See you around.